Yeah. Personally, I just want to say that if as many people watch the Super Bowl watch this, we'd have a better society. So. <laughs> And, 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 if they, and, if they pay, and if they paid as much for our commercials, then it'd be a much You're better. Right. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Uh, my name is Ben Fama Jr. I'm a student documentary filmmaker. I'm making a film called A Virus Called Fear. And briefly, I was wondering if you can give me an input on how we went from having rational fear to like not get eaten by tigers and bears and how we came to irrational fears like politics and religion. Did you hear that? I, I didn't hear. Uh, I, the, the problem is the loudspeakers are facing the audience. And, and Should I speak a little bit louder? Can you hear no, no, not louder, slower. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm from Las Vegas. Everything's really fast. There's an echo here, that's all. I was wondering if briefly you can talk about fear and how it was a biological safety net for us to not get eaten by tigers and how you feel that it evolved to irrational fears like politics and religion. Okay, um, that's a very interesting thought. Um, Certainly, fear would be a very valuable biological mechanism because our ancestors would have lived perilous lives. They'd have, they'd have been frightened of predators, lions, saber-tooths. Um, no, probably not saber-tooths. Um, uh, and leopards, um, they would have had... Um, uh, disease would have swooped without warning, without explanation. Um, so they would naturally have... Um, try to think of ways to avoid these terrible dangers. Uh, in the case of, of disease, which, which before modern science was completely unpredictable, unknowable, uh, one would naturally fall into superstitious habits. Um, I, uh, I, I scratch my left ear and, and, um, and, and something terrible happened. So may, maybe I should make sure I don't scratch my left ear again. Um, these, are, these are superstitious responses, and as, when you're living in a world of, of ignorance, then if you're governed by fear, you could very well make up um, superstitions. Uh, pigeons do it in, in Skinner boxes. Skinner himself uh, had, did a very interesting experiment in which he put pigeons in a skin, you know, Skinner boxes are a cage in which if the pigeon does something like peck a key, it gets a, re a reward, and pigeons readily learn to do that. Skinner put his pigeons in Skinner boxes where n absolutely nothing that the pigeon did had any effect whatever, but nevertheless, at random, rewards were delivered. Okay? Which is sort of like the, our, our ancestors' world. And then, if he came back after a few hours and saw half a dozen pigeons under this regime, one pigeon would be preening under its left wing, another would be turning round in circles, um, another would be scratching the ground, another would be wiping its head on the ground, and another would be um, facing into the bottom left-hand corner. Each, each pigeon had superstitiously done something, accidentally been rewarded, because that's when the mechanism produced the, 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 the food, and carried on doing it. And so each pigeon became a kind of maniac for doing a particular, um, a particular ritual, which is exactly like one tribe sacrifices a goat in order to make the rains come. Another tribe um, gets down on its knees and faces Mecca and prays five times a, a day, whatever it is. Um, <laughs> E each tribe develops its own superstition in order to get rewarded and, of course, in order to avoid being punished, in order to avoid um, the, the, the fearful consequences of, of, of random events which they had no, uh, no um, control over. Nowadays, increasingly, we understand where danger comes from, we know where disease comes from, uh, we don't know exactly, but approximately. Um, we, we know how to control our, our world to an increasing extent, so we can afford to throw away those superstitions. Unfortunately, enormous numbers of us, the great majority of people on this planet, have failed to wean themselves off these primitive superstitions. Let, let, me, let me just add one thing, because well, this was a difference... Well, I'm happy to applaud that, in fact. But, Because this is, I remember from an earlier discussion, we disagreed a little bit about this, but because uh, Richard lives in Oxford, and I have to remind him that people are irrational, 
as well as rational. Uh, that, that I think irrationality is a central part of being human. We need it. Each of us every day has to believe 10 impossible things before breakfast. To get up, you have to believe you love your wife or, your, or, you, or you like your job or, or whatever it is. And, and, it's, you know, and you're lying to yourself half the time. And, 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 um, but we need it to get through life. And I think it's just, I, I do think there is probably an evolutionary basis of that. At some level, to face with a, a universe that doesn't care about your existence, uh, you, you often have to invent realities just to motivate yourself to go on living. Uh, Robert Trivers, the distinguished evolutionary biologist, has just produced a book on self-deception and the evolutionary benefits of self-deception. I can't remember the title because it's one of those many books where the title is different in Britain and America, which is a scandal, by the way. That should never be allowed. Um, I, I have actually, on occasion, bought the same book twice. Um, <laughs> And, and even worse than that, even worse than that, you know how, how Amazon puts up, uh, if you like this book, you'll probably like this one. But, no, but Richard, yeah. if, you're an, but that's a, if you're an author, that's a very good thing. Well, okay, yeah, that's yeah, a good yeah, thing. Yeah. Anyway, Robert Trivers wrote this book um, on self-deception, where he makes the point that actually it is an evolutionary advantage to be optimistic and to believe that you're more intelligent than you really are, better looking than you really are, uh, etc. Yeah. Um, and um, the, the, so there is real, real merit in, in what you say.